that's sort of what we're talking about. But but what you're saying is the the republic itself is a lesson in teaching lessons, not in its outline, but in its manner. If you if you watch Socrates question these people and respond to their answers, you're getting a look into a master teacher's classroom and how he yeah. deals with with trying to get that eye of the soul to see. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The other part of that is in the Republic, you're also seeing the brilliance of Plato uh, because he paints his, his teacher Socrates in the best possible light. Um, if you read um, anything by Xenophon, um, who was sort of the other disciple of Socrates that wrote about him, uh, he has, a couple books. It's not that important, but in his um, dialogues, it's interesting to see uh, the way that Socrates talks because he's clearly doing the same thing. But Xenophon also um, shows Socrates sort of like getting caught in his own questions, right? Like, uh, or yeah. or even uh, perhaps worse or better, whatever. It's funny uh, is when one of his students will go, oh, no, Socrates, I know what you're trying to do. You're going to ask me to say this so that when I say it, you can do this. But that's not going to work. And then the dialogue's just over, right? Like, oh, well, that one didn't work. Right. So, so Plato is, is, a, is a great example for college and high school teachers. Xenophon's more for, for, the, for the middle school teachers. Yeah. Well, I use Xenophon <laughs> in middle school because – Man, learning about failure was really helpful. <laughs> <laughs> well, and they're going to try and get you. They're going to try and zing you. <laughs> right. They're going to try and call you out, especially in the world of Google. Uh, if they have any right. technology available to them, they're over there Google and everything you see, see you know, fact checking yeah. you. Uh, and, I, and of course, I'm perfectly happy to let them know that, that Google is often wrong. Uh, Definitely. I'm not, but, but Google is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. We're we're taking a work that's that's legitimate for a couple of different reasons, right? It's worthy to read it. Uh, if nothing else, here in America, it's a great um, uh, salve to the to the strong no. beliefs we have about democracy. Uh, True that. <laughs> Plato's <laughs> Plato's not a. <laughs> uh, Plato's not real yeah. big on the whole democracy thing, uh, as a Greek, interestingly enough, sure. um, because he's seen its problems and he acknowledges them. But but in trying yeah. to get to the answer, we're watching him try and get there, right? How does he get there? And so these three analogies to me would be a great uh, study in pedagogical uh, analogy analogy. 